Welcome back to another episode of the Global Crusade with Kumi, GCK Daily, where we experience the fullness, power, and presence of God. Our featured speaker is Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi, an international evangelist with a life-changing global ministry that has spanned over 50 years. One of the Hebrew words for love is pronounced chesed. It's actually a difficult word to translate into English, but it speaks of God's love, or more specifically, God's loving kindness. In today's message, we'll be exploring the majestic invitation of Jesus Christ unto salvation. His invitation to all is to experience his matchless chesed. Compassion and cure, join those two things together. The cure comes because of compassion because of the love of God, because he is not willing that any of us, like any of them, should perish, but that everyone should repent, should turn, and come to life eternal. I'm sure you remember the life and the story of a whole city. Whole city is called Nineveh. All of them had gone the wrong way from the top to the bottom from the greatest to the least of them. They had gone the wrong way. And the Lord sent Jonah to them. You know the story how Jonah went this way and the Lord then brought him back. And then he came eventually and said in 40 days, Nineveh shall be overthrown. Now, Jonah did not understand the compassion and the love of God. He thought once God said, the soul that sinneth, it shall die, and they have sinned, and because of that, they will die, and because their cup of iniquity was already full, and because their sin had God brought them to the point of destruction, and because that destruction had been determined from heaven. Because of that, Jonah thought that the age had come for Nineveh. And so triumphantly, he went to declare, he went to announce that the end had come for them. And so he went every day and he told them, 40 days, and Nineveh shall be destroyed. Jonah failed to understand. Jonah failed to accept. Jonah failed to realize. Jonah failed that he didn't have the revelation of God that God will have mercy upon the people that turn. And so he expected that the moment he had said, 40 days, the devil is gone. He was waiting without compassion, without mercy, without the love of God, and without the possibility of any repentance and any recovery. And so he was waiting, they will soon die. But, but, but the mercy of God came from heaven when the king and all the people from the greatest to the least, from the most sinful unto those who are just starting the sinful life, they repented like it will happen tonight. I say like it will happen tonight. As you turn like they turned, and you're not saying, I'm a great man, I'm a highly placed man, I'm a popular woman, I'm a religious person, even though you know that you had sinned against God and against man, and you merit eternal destruction. While most of the sons of men lack a modicum of compassion in their unwillingness to expend mercy, God, on the other hand, is full of chesed. 
and extends it freely and willingly to the penitent and repentant. Secondly, God's love produces the matchless combination of compassion and cure. The cure comes because of his compassion. The third thing we've learned so far is that you too can experience God's hesed today. He does not count your past against you. He welcomes you into a new life as you step out of the darkness and walk into light. Let's return to the message as God's hesed shines on your heart. If you are not sitting in your pride and you say, Lord, I come, I'm the guilty one, I'm asking for mercy, I'm asking for compassion, I trust not in myself. I trust in the mercy and compassion and the love of God. Like those people in Nineveh, like they repented and turned, like God had mercy on them, He will have mercy on you. They didn't have to shout, they didn't have to do anything already. The serpent was lifted up, and anywhere they were, anywhere they found themselves, the power of the Lord will be connected to them anywhere they find themselves because they did what the Heavenly Father told them to do. Look on that lifted, brazen serpent, and then all your problems are over. And Jesus made allusion to that when he said, as it was done at that time now, that he had died for us now, that he had borne our pain now, that he had taken our guilt as we look up to Jesus Christ, look unto me, all ye the ends of the earth, and be ye saved, he will save you. I said they will save you. That's why the psalmist said, Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Then he says, Who forgiveth all thy transgressions? Everyone that has been convicted of their sin, and you know, is the sin that brings evil upon us, upon everyone without exception, and you confess with the willingness to forsake, and then you look up to Christ, the one who died for you on the cross of Calvary. Immediately, forgiveness, salvation will come to you. And then uh, they did it. not only say that he forgiveth all your transgressions, he also said, who healeth, healeth, healeth all thy diseases. Tonight, healing is coming to you. In the time that Jesus lived here on earth, a leper came and said, if you're willing, you can make me whole. And then uh, the Lord Jesus, our healer, our redeemer, and our deliverer touched him, uh, he became whole. And he's still the same today as he was at that time. His healing will come to you tonight. The centurion came and said, Lord, my servant lies at home sick of the palsy. And Jesus said, I'll come and heal him. And the man said, I'm not worthy. I only came because I know you have compassion and because I know you have mercy. Speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. And Jesus spoke the word and the servant was healed. And Jesus Christ, our healer, deliverer, redeemer, is still the same today. He will speak the word to that sickness, infirmity in your life. It will go away in Jesus' name. The Bible records that everyone that came, he healed them all. He healed them all. And he's coming to you today, no matter where you are, you are here or you are there in another country, anywhere you are, as the word comes to you, the healing power of the Lord will come with that word, he will heal you. 
God's chesed is as immutable as God is immutable and as everlasting as God is everlasting. Jesus Christ is still the same today in love, power, and strength. And if you respond to his call to salvation today, you will find mercy, forgiveness, and healing. Dr. Kumi now comes with the word of wonder and forgiveness and freedom. You know that forgiveness is available in Christ tonight. Salvation is available in Christ tonight. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand. You say, I want that forgiveness. I want him to blot out all my guilt, all my condemnation. I feel guilty. I remember the things I've done. And I want to be free. I want to be forgiven. Just raise up that hand. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved and forgiven and cleansed and the sins will be blotted out. Raise up that hand. If you're raising up your hand and you're good and you're confessing those things and you're turning away from them and you're believing on the Lord Jesus Christ will be your own Savior tonight, wherever you are, just raise up the hand and stand up. Stand up where you are. God bless you there. God bless you there. God bless you there. Forgiveness is coming right now. Anywhere you are, to the right, to the left, to the back, to the center, in the front, anywhere you are, you say, Lord, I feel guilt. I know I'm a sinner. I cannot pretend. I cannot deceive myself. I am a sinner. And I want forgiveness and salvation from the Lord tonight. Just raise up that hand and stand up wherever you are. Anywhere you are, you are listening to us on the radio, or you are on television, or you are online, anywhere you are in any country, and you are hearing this message, and you say, this is my night of salvation. The, joy, the Lord will give you the joy of salvation, the peace that comes with forgiveness, and the reality of your name reaching in the book of life in heaven. As you are standing up there, tell the Lord, Lord, forgive me. Lord, I am sorry. Lord, I've done what I shouldn't have done. I believe you are God of mercy, and I come for your mercy, for your forgiveness, for your salvation now. I believe that Jesus died for me, and he rose again for my salvation, my justification. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I believe it doesn't take your time. You are God of mercy. I've received your mercy of salvation now. I'll pray with you, Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for all these who have been convicted of their sins, who have confessed their sins, who have asked you for the blotting out of the sins and the cleansing and the salvation and the freedom. I pray, grant them that salvation now in Jesus' name. Blot out all their sins. Take the remembrance of their sins away from your sight in Jesus' name. Grant them pardon and peace in their hearts right now. And Lord, give them the power to have a new life, a changed life, that they'll never be the same again in Jesus' name. I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. All our brethren, all men, women, children, young people everywhere, as we connect with the Lord tonight, something spectacular will happen in your life unprecedented miracle and all our brothers and sisters men and women online my heart comes to you specially and as we pray and as we preach I have you in mind right there in your home anywhere you are power divine operation miracle the spectacular will happen in every life in Jesus' name. Why don't we pray together? Father, we thank you for this hour. We thank you for this moment. And we're asking, oh Lord, you will do the spectacular, supernatural in every life tonight in Jesus' name. Save, 
those who are struggling with their sin. Restore those who are backsliding and strengthen the believers and every miracle of healing, of deliverance we need. We pray you provide for everyone and touch every life in Jesus' name. We count it done. And we're going to testify. In Jesus' name, we pray. If you've been walking the same old road for miles and miles, if you've been hearing the same old voice tell the same old lies, if you're trying to feel the same old holes inside, there's a better life. There's a better life If you got pain He's a pain taker If you feel lost He's a way maker If you need freedom or saving He's a prison shaking savior He's got chains He's a chain breaker We've all searched for the light of day in the dead of night. We've all found ourselves worn out from the same old fight. We've all run to things we know just ain't right. When there's a better life, amen. There's a better life. If you got pain, he's a pain taker. If you believe it, if you receive it, if you can feel it, somebody testify. Go ahead, get your hands up. Let's go. If you believe it, if you receive it, if you can feel it, somebody testify, testify. God does indeed have a plan for your life, and the rain of laughter and love and joy will flood your life with God's goodness. Thanks for being a part of GCK. Daily we post new videos right here on our regular basis to keep you strengthened in your faith. When you share and subscribe to our channel, it helps you to share this life-saving message across the globe. Please let us know how you have been impacted by our ministry in the comments section below. Keep in touch with us on all our social media platforms, and we look forward to connecting with you as you join us from across the world. At the next Global Crusade, thank you.